everybody, I'm your man, Dennis Pitsenbarger. We're here at Performance Racing Show with my good friend, Dick Boyer from World Products. Great to see you, and as always, you guys look at a gap in the industry and fill it with a solution. Let's talk about this 8.1 liter and the Merlin block. Yeah, Dennis, the, uh, the marketplace for the 8.1 right now is empty. Uh, GM quit supporting that platform about four or five years ago, and if you wanted to build an aftermarket or just needed a replacement block for an 8.1 engine, there's no availability. The reman companies don't have cores. So here at World, we were gonna build a new foundry tool to make a new and improved Merlin block called the Merlin 4. So we incorporated the 8.1 platform into that foundry tooling. So we're able to provide an 8.1 engine for the stock replacement guy, as well as for the performance enthusiast that thinks he wants to build a 632 cubic inch 8.1 based engine. World Products now has a block for that application. Well, I was going to say now, of course, this uses all of the great technology and the R&D that World Products has in all their products. Talk about what goes into these blocks specifically. Okay, the 8.1 was a very good platform. It had a few downfallings as far as oil circuitry. We replaced all of that with a, a priority main oil system. We also made the deck of the block considerably stronger, so when you put more power to it, it's not going to crack. Um, as well as the block has been cast with clearancing to put a 4750 stroke in it. So you can put a 632 engine together. With a standard 8.1, 4350 was the biggest bore. We're going to have a Siamese bore version of this that you can bore to 4600. So that's some of the improvements we made, as well as a better material makeup of the cast iron. Now, of course, we got to talk about the new uh, Merlin 4. Talk about how that incorporates as well into the family of big blocks. Okay, the Merlin 4 block, well, on our Merlin 3 block, we were limited to a 55 millimeter cam bore because of the foundry tooling being made that way. There was no material behind the cam bore to put a bigger bore than that in it. So when we decided to make the Merlin 4, we enlarged the cam bore diameter to a 60 millimeter Babbitt. So now you can put a 2480 bore cam in this block. We also uh, shrunk up the water passage behind the outer bolt holes of the block to put more material there. Added material to the main webs where big blocks have the tendency to break. There again, upgraded the cast iron quality of the, of the material makeup of the block to make the block considerably strong. It's got 5,000 PSI stronger cast iron in the new Merlin 4 block. And we also added some uh, other features to the lifter bore area that allows for more material for key lifters. Or if a guy really wanted to get crazy and put a straight 41 degree lifter bore bank in that block, in the 8.1 or the Merlin 4, you can do that with this block. Well, you know what? You guys always find a need out there and you fill it with a great solution. If people want more information about either the Merlin or the 8.1 replacement block, where do they go? Where do they find that information? Uh, they go to worldproducts.net. There you go, worldproducts.net. He's Dick Boyer, he's a good friend. By the way, I use their products. This is Dennis Pitsenbarger, right here at Performance Racing Industry Show.